Good morning, everybody. I had to check the clock to make sure it was still morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every day. So if you like this video, we hope you will come back tomorrow. So today is day two of limited activity. We are going to be staying home tonight, having a movie night with our friend Jill. We're definitely watching Meet Me in St. Louis. My sister and Grant, Christina and Grant, they just bought Frozen 2 on our Apple TV this morning, so maybe we'll even watch Frozen 2. Um, but Jill's gonna bring over some Ethos, which is one of our favorite winter park restaurants here. And we're just gonna have a relaxing night in, so I thought I would start the vlog. So now that I am pregnant again, I am going to really focus on getting a bunch of really good protein in. Um, and so I'm going to start my days with avocado toast. I'll probably only use half of this, um, maybe eat the other half later. And I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna try to eat like an avocado a day because avocado is so good for everybody, but especially for somebody who eats plant-based trying to get all that those fats and proteins and whatnot in my diet avocado is perfect for pregnancy it's even been like in all of our infertility struggles we've heard that it's one of those things that if you eat it really does help you get pregnant so i'm gonna do it because it's delicious but also because it's really good for your body a hey, trusty little dog she's always my little sous chef so here's how it looks. I just mixed in chili powder, tahini, and salt today. I don't have any limes right now, but the tahini that I have has like the hint of lime. I knew she'd burn. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna eat this. It'll be filling and delicious and take my supplements for the morning and start and start my and start my work for the day. One last thing I did add was just some Tabasco on top. Oh. Alrighty, so the vlog is exporting, so I'm just taking some couch time. Um, I do have work I have to do, which is fine. I am lucky enough to work at home and have a job that I just sit in a chair. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm kind of having an emotional day. I really just want to stay on the couch. Um, but I know I'll feel better once the work is done. Um, <clears throat> first reason why I'm emotional is I feel like whenever like a big event like this happens, it is easy for me to really start missing our family and just, <laughs> you just give me her rope. Um, and just wish that they were here. And so I think it's kind of hard like when you go through like these bigger things that that is like a choice that we made when we moved that our family would not be able to be here yeah it's just one of those things that when we moved away we knew that it would that it would happen with big life events um that aren't necessarily things that can be traveled for which is hard and um now even more so like we have our embryos here we have our doctor here um it's just hard so I've been navigating that today as well as trying not to compare how I feel to the last time. It's really hard because, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, I don't feel this, I don't feel that. And it's not that I feel normal or like I'm not feeling anything, but every transfer is different. I prepped my body so differently this time, especially physically with all of the different yoga and blood flow and um, acupuncture and meditative things that I that I did differently so I just really have to remind myself that no two pregnancies are the same as are um, even just symptoms after transfer and so I just got to get out of my head and I will be better once Peter is home and once Jill comes over I know um, but this is the downside of working from home is I am just I I don't have like the same distractions as like a typical 
job would with like coworkers and communication and lunch and stuff. It's just me at home with Eve, which is great, but it's also isolating. So that's what I'm managing today. But I'm excited to get the vlog up so that you guys can see everything we did yesterday with the transfer. Um, and then I'll I'll maybe just like hop on and do some comments and get some, have some company with you guys. I have a special visitor. Hello. Jill's here. It's so dark at this time of day in our apartment. But she brought over ethos. Look at this. This is like, they call it sheep's pie. It's like shepherd's pie, but with no meat in it. Bread and a calzone and marinara to dip it in. And Peter's on his way home. And she's mad. I okay. didn't bring vegan ethos for dogs. <laughs> but she will wait <laughs> and see if anything drops. He's dying. Oh no. Peter, what happened? I don't think I've gotten sick since we moved here. I don't think you have either. I got sick a ton when we first moved here. And the one day after Dr. said I can't get sick of a fever, I haven't run a fever, I think, in 10 years. <laughs> Probably since you had, uh, what, what's that? Mono? Kissing disease, yeah. Mono? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't feel good after work, so I went to the CVS, and I looked for a mask wrap, but I couldn't find it. I got a thermometer in Zycam, and on the way home, sitting in <laughs> I-4 traffic, being a little brat, crying to myself. <laughs> I took my temperature and I have like a 104 degree fever. He said he blew fever. his temperature, FYI. <laughs> which like, me and Sarah were like, did you take a breathalyzer? Like, <laughs> I blew a 100.4. So, I guess the, look for those on your shelf, America. And I'm supposed to be on limited activity, so I really can't do more. We're just, this is, this was our, can't take care of me. This is, <laughs> our plan for the night was to watch me in St. Louis with Jill, so we're still going to do it, but Peter's just going to stay. In a cocoon, not going to be a coma. Sick. Far, far, far away. Well, this is not how I thought I was going to spend my night. I thought I was going to spend my night celebrating with Jill on the couch and Sarah. So give you some background, because right now I feel at least enough energy to talk. Um, started feeling bad around 1.32 and it just really got bad until I left. And I was in awful condition driving home um, on I-4. I hate being sick. I don't, like Sarah said, I haven't been sick since we moved here. And I didn't think I've been sick for longer years before that. I hate being sick because guys are babies when they're sick. We are and I try my hardest not to be. But here I am hiding in the bathroom because I can't get Sarah sick. I don't want to get Jill sick, but I cannot get Sarah sick, so. I need to go try to eat something I've barely eaten today, and uh, but I can't stay away from this bathroom. I officially have gotten sick, whatever, the little bit of food I ate didn't stand, so um, it's going to be fun. The best song in the whole movie. If you haven't seen it, YouTube it. I'll put the link in the description because this is like why Main Street USA is Main Street USA. Welcome to TBP Cribs. We got a sliding door with a very angry dog on the other side. We got a, cl a closet. We got bread. I'm a, probably not a smart idea for me to eat this half of the calzone, but I have not eaten all any today. So I don't even know how I got sick. I got nothing in my stomach. That bread might be it or this, this bread, but then this is my pillow, this is my blanket. Cottage up there to the bathroom. I love this hideaway door. I don't know if we, how often we show it, but it's a sliding hideaway door. I would love if all the the doors in our house one day are all sliding doors. I apologize for the vent, but I gotta have it on so Eve doesn't hear me vlogging or eating because she's already so angry. She's through that door, through the bedroom door out to the living room. So. He's staying far away from me. Peter has over a hundred degree fever, so I literally have not even been near you today. Um, I'm gonna sleep out here tonight. Yeah, Peter's gonna sleep out so here. I know that the risk of me having a temperature was more so like if I got an infection. Right, I think that was the, but we still don't wanna. Right, we still don't want me to be sick. And plus, um, another thing that like I'm not supposed to do for the next two weeks is like, no hot tubs. Well, I think that even when you're pregnant, like, 
no like soaking in the tub like they don't want your core body temperature to get hot and so we really don't want me to have a fever um I mean fevers aren't good regardless so I don't know you'll probably have to go to the doctor alone tomorrow Right, so, Peter got the flu shot this year, but I didn't because of me right, but it's like being pregnant. Flu, it's just a cold. Or when me, like, like potentially like, becoming like, pregnant, I didn't have it. When I was looking at things, this has all the earmarks of the flu rather than the cold. Yeah. Because I don't, as I mean, like, my nose congested right now. I don't know if that's from crying watching Frozen 2. <laughs> we watched Frozen 2. Or if that's from the sickness. My throat doesn't hurt. Like, those are the earmarks yeah. of the cold. They don't have as much achy. Yeah. Whereas, like, I literally feel weight on my shoulders behind my eyeballs. Yeah. Um, Jill went home. She had a big day today with her school. She's um, on her way to being a teacher. So she went home, finished Meet Me in St. Louis, watched Frozen 2, and now we're going to watch Honey Boy, which I really wanted to see in theaters, and we didn't. It's about Shia LaBeouf. It's his, like based on his own life but he plays his dad in it it's on amazon prime if you have that and then honestly i think we should just go to bed probably sarah doesn't even know that i did a tvp edition of cribs in my bathroom so oh gosh all right we just finished honey boy and it was really good it was really hard to watch yeah it was like well filmed and like very like Chicago Film Festival. Mm -hmm. I that's like our experience of yeah. watching more like films like that. But hard to watch. We yeah. really like Shia LaBeouf. To so, like to know that that was going kids, on. Yeah. When we were watching his shows, it was like tough. But yes, yeah. I said halfway through it, like I hope he got something off it. Yeah. And I think he did. Right. I wouldn't say like go watch it. Like it's not a it's not a broken project movie. But I think like if you just like appreciate like an artist like telling a story whether even a tough story like it's there's still good justice in giving that credit but credibility yeah let's do the message february 11th to create one's own world takes courage georgia o'keefe <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened i'm on the struggle bus today oh my gosh that was like this is the closest i've been to you all day what was that a the, ghost the wallflower fell what? So, tomorrow will be better. Yeah. How am I feeling, you ask? Yeah, how are you feeling? <laughs> um, okay. I kind of talked about it earlier. I'm trying not to, like... Think too much. Think too much. Towards the end of the night, I kind of felt crampy and belly achy, but also kind of ate a lot tonight. That ethos was carby. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, ready for bed. I look like a goof. So do I. <laughs> It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.